today we are going to discuss t test problem so here he has given a problem regarding that two horses two horses a and b were tested according to the time to run in a particular track with the following results so horse a horse b data he has given horse a the first round it completed in 28 seconds the second round in 30 third round 32 fourth round 33 seconds fifth round 33 seconds sixth round 29 seconds and seventh round 34 seconds whereas horse b completed the first round in 29 second round 30 third round 30 and so on so we have to discuss whether these two horses have the same running capacity or not we have to discuss for that one we are going to use the t test okay the t test what it says is x1 bar minus x2 bar by s into root of 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 okay s into root of 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 here the okay where x1 bar is equal to formula sigma x1 by n1 x2 bar is sigma x2 by n2 and the n1 horse a number of items are 7 similarly n2 horse b has the 6 items therefore n2 is equal to 6 s square we have the formula sigma x minus minus x1 bar whole square plus sigma x2 minus x2 bar whole square by n1 plus n2 minus 2 so if you substitute in this one x sigma x1 so you add these entire values and divide with 7 you are going to get 31.286 Similarly, sigma x2 add these entire values, you are going to get 169 divided with the number of values 6, you are going to get as 28.16. Next, sigma x1 minus x1 bar whole square means sigma x1 28 minus 31.286 whole square, 30 minus 31.86 whole square, so on 34 minus 31. 286 whole square this is a line plus sigma x2 minus x2 bar whole square 29 minus 28.16 whole square 30 minus 28.16 whole square so on 29 minus 28.16 whole square by n1 is 7 n2 is 6 minus 2 so if you simplify you are going to get something if you simplify the value s is equal to 2.3 you are going to get so whether now we have to discuss whether the two horses have the same equal capacity or not h naught you consider as the always mu 1 is equal to mu 2 both are having the same running capacity not equal to mu 1 not equal to mu 2 therefore this is a two tailed test level of significance you consider as 5 percent test statistic you have to consider the formula t is equal to 31.286 x1 bar value 31.286 x2 bar value 28.16 s value 2.3 1 by n1 is 7 1 by n2 is 6 therefore calculated t you are going to get as 2.43 so tabulated t you have to come across with the two concepts five percent level of significance and two tail test so five percent level of significance two tail test means there is nothing but the 0 0.025 level of significance and the degree of freedom is n1 plus n2 minus 2 that is 7 plus 6 minus 2 that is 13 minus 2 that is nothing but 11 for 11 degree of freedom and 0 0.025 tablet at each 2.2 so if you compare these two calculated value and tabulated value calculated value is greater than a tabulated value therefore we reject null hypothesis or h naught that means two horses not having the same capacity okay thank you